so guys uh, cli is always required so whenever you learn any technology whether it's f5 or anything you should know the things via gui versus cli and f5 cli is not a big topic if you understand the architecture so when i talk about command line interface of f5 guys it works on your linux and it follows your tmsh shell traffic management shell so it follows the architecture of tree if you understand that tree architecture then it's easy so we will go one by one so whatever things we have configured through cli you can configure vice versa and whatever things you configure through gui like virtual server pool or any pool member you can configure the same via cli vice versa gui you can configure through cli cli part you can configure through gui and what does operating system it has tmos and it uses your linux operating system so if you are good in linux it's easy to learn cli of f5 so let's go with the tree architecture so when i talk about the cli part guys your f5 starts with your root after root it will have your modules whether it's a ltm module gtm module esm module or any other module called apm so i'm just drawing the tree architecture so that you can understand so all your linux shell directory starts with root after root you will have modules ltm1 module gtm1 module asm now when we talk about ltm module guys ltm has components in it so what are the components i talked about modules module is ltm now components if i talk about ltm has local traffic as one component system as one component and you will see network as one comp i will show you you need to remember this when i talk about components guys components are this some settings are coming under your local traffic some settings are coming under your network some settings are coming under your system tab so these are called your component you have a root directory in root directory you have modules then you have components <laughs> after that guys what comes under network interfaces vlan that are called sub components in system tab what it comes your license part your snmp all things come under system tab what comes under local traffic virtual server pools pool member so that is how your tree architecture is build up guys first you are in root directory then you will go to particular module and then component and then it's called sub modules so that is why i have did when i talk about cli c modules components and commands so this is a hierarchy tech first it is into root level you are into root so you will get two prompt one is tmsh one is tmos whenever you enter originally into f5 guys you will see like this 
by default you are into tm message this is called your traffic management shell or you can say it's an advanced shell where you can run advanced commands and this is your operating system so you need to understand what things you can run here and what things you can run on tmos so that is how your architecture is now if i talk about ltm module guys in ltm let's say i want to configure any monitor so i will go to ltm monitor then i will go to tcp monitor so tree structure guys <coughs> so this is by default your hierarchy architecture there are two modes one is shell mode and one is tmos mode so from this you if you remember this guys you will understand all your cli by default you are into tmos mode after tmos mode let's say i want to see all commands related to ltm you will enter ltm then in ltm you have monitors profiles persistence that is called sub modules and after that monitor also have their sub components so that is how your tree architecture is built guys just remember this picture guys trust me you will get everything first you need to see if let's say i want to see only ltm commands so you need to go to ltm module then you have monitor let's say you want to go to pool that is one sub module profile is sub module <coughs> after that can you see monitor also have their components so that is how it is built tmos then tmos has a component module you can say module has their sub modules ltm what comes under ltm that are called sub modules and after that whatever comes under sub module that is called components so see i will show you can you see this uh, ltm when i show this ltm what does this ltm means this local traffic is called your module after that we were talking about pools what does this pool comes pool is called in this picture representation the pool is your sub modules module then pool is your sub module and in pool what is coming into picture that is called your component <coughs> these are called your components same example with monitor your local traffic is your module your monitor is your sub module and whatever mon uh, inside coming under monitor that is called component see so all your things you just need to remember what is module what is sub module and what is component your f5 cli deals with all these three components now i will show you how to go to cli and check it <coughs> so we will see all this command how to create delete what does list means what is quit what is save what is show so before that guys how i will go i will go to putty i will just increase the size
now i will log in again i will say duplicate session i will increase the size and i will show you quickly how to run the commands change setting appearance see guys first i will log in through root root by default it is coming under your advanced shell this is called your tmsh shell now if you want to join into tmos mode you need to just enter tmsh so it will convert into your traffic management operating system now guys how to enter module first i will type ltm can you see it has gone into your ltm now you can just enter question mark you will get many things see you want to go to monitor profile or you want to see virtual server configuration it will show you also it is showing you modules these are the modules if you want to see any ltm related configuration it comes under your ltm if you want to see any network related configuration then you need to go to net first you need to mention the module name then component then command <laughs> module component and then command so i will go one by one now i want to see your ltm profile i want to see all profiles configured in my f5 so what i will do profile i will just write pr tab just enter now i will enter list so i want to see all configuration related to profile what are the profiles configured in my f5 so it will show me <laughs> all my profiles i have configured client ssl and tcp custom so there are two commands guides very very important one is list and one is show command list basically if you want to see configuration of any object you want to see any configuration of anything in f5 you need to type list show is to share the statistics live traffic let's say i want to see any error on any interface or i want to see virtual server statistics for that you need to run show command so you need to understand the difference between list and show now guys anyone can tell me if i want to go to network tab right now i am into ltm tab i need to go back you need to type exit i need to go back exit now if i want to see interface i want to see how many vlans are configured in my f5 can anyone wants to try this i want to see all vlans in my f5 first i want to type which command here which module your vlan comes in so we have local traffic module network traffic and system as one module so you need to just compare this when i talk about local traffic it comes under your cli is called ltm when i talk about network it is called net when i talk about system it's called sys <coughs> now i want to see all vlans guys how i can see anyone which module i want to enter here so i will type an et can you see this tmos.net then i want to see vlan i will just enter question mark so these are the components you can see for vlan how you want to see 
v11 so i will type v len now i want to see all my v len should i enter show command or list guys anyone your v len comes under your network tab so this is how the segregation is now i want to see list or show anyone i want to see all my v len configuration excellent list see guys it will give me the list of all vlans and this is tagged to this one now guys i want to see statistics or i want to see interface what are the interfaces so if i say how many interfaces in f5 which command guys anyone can wants to try i want to go to exit exit now i want to see how many interfaces are available in f5 where i need to go <coughs> no push anyone else i want to go to network you need to tell me the step by step now question mark in component you can see interface is represented by this one interface so i will type interface just tap now i want to see the statistics which command i should type now i want to see the statistics of each interfaces whether i am getting any error or anything on any interface which command so command is show so just type show see guys this will give me the statistics how many packets are in how many packets are out and any errors or drops while if i type list what will happen it will give me the configuration of interface that is the difference between very very important guys list command and show command <coughs> list will show you the configuration particular to that object and show will will give you the statistics now guys another question i want to see all my virtual server configuration my next question is i want to see all my virtual server configuration how many virtual servers are there in my f5 how many virtual servers are there <laughs> anyone wants to try i want to see how many virtual servers are there so first i want to type what here anyone no first exit then exit after that what i need to type excellent ltm correct after ltm guys if you don't know question mark i want to see all my virtual server so it comes under your virtual <coughs> you just mention question mark you will get everything guys i will type vi enter now i want to see all my virtual server list command guys see guys it will show me the all my virtual server configuration and to come back quit if i say list 
enter and to exit quit so these are all my virtual server guys if i type show command so it will give me the statistics how many traffic current connection maximum connection total connection So trust me guys, if you remember this way, you will never forget. Now I want to see pool related configuration guys. Anyone wants to try? Pool, I want to see how many pool members are configured or how many pools are there in my F5. So where you need to go? LTM mark pool is represented by by this so i will type pool enter list it will give me the list of This will give you the list of all pools configured in F5. If I type show, it will give me the statistics. Now, guys, I want to create new pool. Now my question is, I want to create one pool via CLI. <coughs> so we have seen list command, we have seen show command. Now I need to create new pool guys. What command I need to enter? So you need to enter create. Now, after create type tab, where I can configure pool, anyone? In which module pool is configured? Excellent. Create LTM, question mark. Which component you need to configure pool? I will just type pool. Now, new pool name, guys. Pool of CR nets. Now, tap. What thing you need to give? Members. Your pool members comes under your members tab. Just type ME members. Now here, do you want to add, delete or modify? So I want to add members, just question mark. Or you can just type after add tab. It will just start bracket. Now I will type 10 dot two dot two dot 30 colon 80. Just question mark closed. If you type tab, if it will give you. So it already have saying this. Now I will enter 40. So what it has configured guys. So it has configured new pool with this pool member. <coughs> so I will go to GOINC. I will go to local traffic. See the pool. Can you see? Now guys. My question is, I want to delete this RGB server. I want to delete this whole pool of RGB or let's say RGB server this one. How I can do anyone? I want to delete one pool. So what is the command delete? LTM, then pool, then pool name. 
सो आर जे बी सर्वर जस्ट टाइप टैप टैप यू विल गेट इट सो वट आई एम डूइंग नट थिंग डी ई टैप एल टी एम टैप फूल एंड आफ्टर दैट इट्स गिविंग मी ऑप्शन आर जे बी सर्वर इट इज सेंग दैट बिकॉज इट इज यूज बाय योर वर्चुअल सर्वर this pool is called in your virtual server so you cannot delete first you need to remove from your virtual server or guys what you can do i want one thing to do i have this pool of rgb i have three members i want to delete this one how i can delete my question is i have this pool of rgb i want to delete this pool member out of it so there is a command called modify we have seen list command we have seen show command create command delete what does modify if you want to modify from existing configuration something then you need to type modify so what you need to go you need to go to cli just type modify ltm pool now which pool name you can see pool of <coughs> rjb i will just paste now members i will type members now what you need to delete which delete you want to delete red server let's say so i will just type copy this paste question mark see guys this is the command to delete one pool member from an existing pool and if you are doing any configuration guys changes via cli you need to type at last this command very very important guys save says config so that your configuration is permanent <coughs> so to to make your configuration permanent you type this command if you do any changes via cli you need to type this command save says configuration now if i go and search on this this will get one pool member deleted see guys previously it was three pool members now it is two only so this is how you delete existing pool members from pool now guys there can be scenario where you want to configure 50 virtual servers quickly i have one scenario where i need to configure 50 virtual servers in 5 minutes so how you can do it very very important thing guys so what you do generally what i do is i go here i will just type list ltm virtual and i will take one configuration from this i will go to notepad i copy this here now i need to create 10 virtual servers so what i will do is i will change the ip address name same as this i will copy i will make all the configuration ready on notepad change the name ip address to 57 quickly i am need to configure 10 virtual servers copy paste change the name ip address then i will let's create this three quickly i copy this how to add here 
so guys there is a command load says configuration from terminal merge <coughs> you have a configuration already there in f5 you want to merge extra configuration that is why this command guys very very important command i want to add new configuration in my existing f5 so this is the command load says configuration from terminal merge in automation guys also this is helpful i will type this i will copy paste control c now to save this you need to type control d i will enter control d can you see this loading configuration successful if there is any error you will come to know here now what i need to do save says config to make my changes permanent so this is how you configure multiple virtual servers together <coughs> so i will talk about these three files what does big ip.conf means what is there what is there in big ip underscore base so this is how i will now go into cli and i will see can you see all my new virtual servers are being created so this is how quickly you can configure multiple virtual servers on any configuration just copy paste in notepad and then type this command load says config from terminal merge this is how you can do it now let me open so we have covered create command delete exit list load modify quit save and show this run is not required here this is in gtm so this commands guys you should know what does each command represent and most important is list and show command <laughs> now guys there are many configuration files present in f5 one is big ip.conf one is big ip underscore base one is big ip dot license all your license are stored in this directory guys so you just need to remember as an interview guys they can ask license file is present in which directory <coughs> and your virtual servers pool profiles nat all are present in this big ip.conf just remember as an interview question guys your vlans your interfaces your self ips are present in this big ip underscore base dot conf so that is the meaning of these three files guys so when i will talk about high availability guys some of the configuration are not get synchronized i want that whatever configuration i do here it gets automatic synchronized but whatever is present in this big ip underscore base that is separate from this this does not get synchronized because your virtual server pool remains same but your vlan self ips generally don't get synchronized these are separate on separate boxes <coughs> you need to configure vlans here also here also self ips here also here also it does not get synchronized when i will talk about ha you will come to know about this configuration file but just remember what comes under which file 
even when you take a backup guys when we will talk about backup uses backup backup is combination of these files when we take a backup of all box it will take all this configuration very very important guys so you should know at least these things when we talk about backups and you should know cli so these are all parts of your cli configurations and when you do any changes via cli guys to make it permanent guys you need to run this command save says configuration very very important in gui you don't need to run but when you do any configuration this will not tell by anyone guys <coughs> no one will tell this when you do any changes via cli you need to run this command save says config <laughs> 